Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having an amazing week so far. Today I am doing a very, very easy Diwali makeup look, which is this look right here. It is a glittery wing. It's very, very simple and effective to do. And I've also paired it up with this beautiful brick red lipstick, which I just love this combination of. So um, without further ado, if you guys would like to see how to get this makeup look, then please keep watching. So I've been wanting to crack this headband out um, for ages now. I got it like about a month ago and I thought this would be the perfect time to get it on me. And it's this one right here. It's like very glam and very blingy. And I thought it would be perfect for this Diwali look just to use to get my hair out of the way. I'm really sorry if there is an echo. I am filming in my kitchen and that's because I really need to get the lighting sorted out in my studio room, which hopefully will happen in the next month or so. I'm actually going to get a professional like videographer to come and like set everything up for me and I want to make sure that all my videos are as true to like the naked eye as possible. And where I'm sitting there is a natural sunlight right now and I thought this would be the perfect place to film my videos in the meantime. So um, my skin's already prepped. I used the Ula Henriksen C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Love the texture of this and I love just how quickly my skin soaks it up. So now that my skin is all prepped, we're gonna move on to primer. So the primer I'm gonna go in with is obviously my all nighter setting spray because I love that as a primer, but just to kind of set things off I'm going to use a little bit of the Fasali Skin Tune Blur. I like to focus this on kind of like the sides of my nose, a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my chin and between my brows. And I like to smooth this over these areas because in that way we're going to get a really nice blurred effect especially in pictures. And then going in with my trusty all nighter setting spray all over my face and that's going to act as like the real glue that's going to keep all this makeup on all day and all night. As this is a Diwali makeup look, I want my skin to look really glowy and dewy and light reflecting. So I'm going to make my own little concoction of my base and for that I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Longwear Foundation with some Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. And this is just in the original shade. So I'm gonna get all of this onto the back of my hand and start bouncing this all over my face and blending it all into my skin with my damp beauty blender. Actually, this isn't an original beauty blender, this is the Fenty Beauty Sponge, and I absolutely love this. I remember when this came out a few years ago and I was completely obsessed and I got another one out and I was just like, I forgot how good you were. So yeah, I'm just blending everything away. Just adding a couple more spritz of my All Nighter onto my base. I want this look to be super easy and a look that you can wear with any colour outfit. So I'm actually not putting anything onto my eyelids because they are quite pigmented. And once we've got like the eyeliner on, it's going to look like we're wearing eyeshadow. So it's just a little hack that I do. So if any of you guys out there also have pigmented eyelids like I do, Honestly, just try skipping foundation or anything on to your eyelids. And by the time you've got your full face of makeup on, you're going to look like you've got eyeshadow on when you haven't really. So it's a quick little uh, tip and it also means that your makeup's done quicker as well. So my foundation is on and now we're going to move on to the contour. When it comes to a special occasion, I love doing a cream contour. So I'm actually taking my Huda Beauty Tantor. This is in the shade Fair. And I'm just going to take like a fluffy brush and I'm going to start blending this into the skin. I'm putting that onto the usual areas that I like to contour, so that's on my cheekbones, on my jawline and also my hairline. We're going to carry on with the cream products and I'm going to actually conceal now. And I'm going to use the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. This is in the shade 40NY and I'm going to get this onto the usual areas, you guys know the drill, that's underneath my eyes on the sides of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And once that is done, we're just gonna blend all of that away into the base. To set my base, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, get that onto my brush, and just start popping that onto all the areas that we concealed. So it's underneath my eyes and the sides of my nose, my forehead and my chin as well. Now to set the contour areas, I'm taking the L'Oreal Back to Bronze. I love this bronzer. I think it's probably the best affordable bronzer I've ever tried. It's so creamy. It's such a beautiful shade as well. But I'm gonna get this onto all the areas that we cream contoured. So that's on my jawline, my cheekbones and also my hairline. 
I totally forgot to add this next product. This is the Becca Liquid Highlighter Drops. They're actually called the Glow Silk Highlighter Drops and this is in the shade Champagne Pop. I absolutely love this. I don't know whether I should get a little bit onto my cheeks. Do you know what? We're just gonna do it. It's Diwali. You wanna look really, really, really glowy, so I'm gonna put some on. So I've just taken some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna pick some of that up with beauty sponge and then just start adding that onto my tops of my cheekbones and also up into my brow bone as well. And it just gives such a beautiful, subtle glow. It's not heavy on the skin, but it's just so stunning. Whatever's left on it, I'm just gonna pop some onto the bridge of my nose. You can totally leave the base as this, but I am gonna go in with a blush and powder highlight as well, just because I just love me a bit of blush, and I just wanna show you guys how you can amp up this highlight as well. I'm gonna go in with the highlight first, and I'm using none other than my Champagne Pop highlight from Becca. I'm taking that on this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, and we are just going to pop that on top of the cream highlight. And you can just see how that's amped it up, but it doesn't look like you've got a stripe of highlight on your skin. It's still so light, but it still looks very glowy at the same time. But in a very beautiful, like, you can wear it day to day without looking like a shiny disco ball, if you know what I mean. So yeah, we've added our highlight and now we're gonna move on to some blush. For blush, we're gonna go in with an oldie and that is Luminoso by Milani. I'm so excited that we can finally get Milani here in the UK. It's actually stocked in boots, which I think is amazing, but we're just gonna get this on to the apples of our cheeks. We're gonna leave the base as that. I'm just gonna give another quick few spritz of the all-nighter. So we locked everything in place. I know I put a lot of all-nighter setting spray on, but honestly, it makes your makeup last so, so, so long, even in like all kinds of weather as well. Um, so yeah, the base is finally, finally completely done, and we're gonna move on to eyes next. We are zoomed in and ready to do the eyes, and I have very quickly filled in my brows. I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit, and also the 24-hour brow setter. That's like my trusty go-to combo. I do also love their new brow product. I'm gonna leave a link to all of them in the info box below. Now we're gonna move on to the eyeliner. I wanted to do something really simple yet effective that you can wear with any kind of outfit and you're not stuck for choice, if you know what I mean. So I thought we would do a really beautiful, like real like Bollywood Indian gold eyeliner with big lashes. So the first step to doing the glitter eyeliner is to actually map out the wing. You don't really wanna go in straight with your glitter, just in case if you mess up or anything like that. This just makes it so much easier. So we're gonna map it out using this product right here. This is the ABH watercolor in the shade Sable. It's just the standard kind of like dark brown shade and this is gonna make the gold really pop. So I'm slowly gonna start doing two wings on my my eyes and building up as and where I feel like I want it to be thicker or anything like that. And the brush that I'm actually using is the Dela and Roni Spotter Brush. This brush I actually got from Hobbycraft and it's super, super, super thin and I think it's the perfect brush for doing eyeliner, especially gel liner. So the eyeliner has been mapped out. That was kind of difficult. The eyeliner went dry and I added some drops into it and it didn't really work. So hopefully it will be okay once we put all of the glitter on top. Before we put the glitter on top, I'm gonna add a layer of the Too Faced glitter glue on top of the eyeliner. And then I'm gonna pack the Lit Cosmetics glitter in the shade Vegas all on top. I'm just brushing away any fallout that's gone onto my face. And now to neaten up the eyeliner, I'm taking Midnight Cowboy, which is a glitter liner from Urban Decay, and just neatening up all of the edges. I've just very quickly popped some mascara on my top lashes and also some falsies. These in particular are the TL4 lashes from Tatty Lashes. I just love how fluttery and glam they are. And I really feel like when you're doing a glitter wing like this, it always looks really weird until you get your lashes on and then everything just kind of looks so much more put together. So now that we've got the top part of our eyes done, we're gonna work on our lower lash line. I'm gonna take back to bronze, the bronzer that we used on our face, and I'm just going to run that onto the lower lash line very quickly.
And last but not least, to finish off the eyes, some mascara onto my lower lashes as well. So this is the effect that we've got with the glitter liner. It's just so subtle, but it's still got that hint of Diwali and glam in the makeup look as well. And the final step now is to do our lips. So I'm gonna take Spice Lip Liner from MAC and first line them before we move on to the actual lip color. I did overline my lips very slightly, but now we're gonna move on to the lip shade. This is the new Live Tinted Hue Stick in the shade Found, and I love this shade. It's a beautiful brick red brown, and I thought it would complement the eyes really beautifully, so we're gonna get that onto our lips next. The final, final step is one last spritz of All Nighter, and then we're all done. So you guys, this is the end of the Easy Diwali makeup look. I love the way that it turned out. Literally, this look you can wear with any kind of outfit. I've got an Anarka Leon right now. Um, so I went with like a matching Bindi for this outfit. I just love the combination of this lip with a glitter liner, and I hope you guys did too. I also wanted to say a very happy Diwali and Sal Mubarak to everyone who is celebrating this weekend. I hope you guys have a really, really good time with your family. Enjoy all the yummy, yummy food. And also, don't forget to be safe as well. I am sending you guys all of my love. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on my other social media, which is below. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything from me. All the products that I've used for this makeup look will be listed in the description box. So please don't forget to check that out. And if I have forgotten anything, it will also be down there as well. Uh, but yeah, that is everything from me. And hopefully I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!